Yo, B. Quanchi here. Today I want to do something a little bit different on the channel and kind of do like a how to, a possible fix for microphone issues with Windows 11. I will admit I'm not the most tech savvy person. This was kind of a simple uh, solution that kind of worked for me. So I wanted to share, kind of explain it. So I wanted to first explain my issues, what I did, and some of my uh, two cents extra opinions about it. So how it started is that uh, with an older setup I had, I had a, a, a HP Omen laptop. Uh, for my microphone, I use a HyperX Quadcast, which is a USB microphone, and that laptop ran at Windows 10. And it worked fine, it worked pretty good, all things considered. Then uh, over time, you know, the years passed, I decided to uh, upgrade and get a new laptop. Um, and I decided to still go with HP Omen. I still had my same microphone. Um, this time it ran at Windows 11. And then as I get things set up, uh, testing, recording, all that, I noticed a huge difference. It seemed like with the new setup, um, the microphone was really good at noise cancellation and not picking up background noise a lot more than the previous setup, even though the only thing that changed was the laptop. And for example, uh, if I had my AC running, it would not pick up on the microphone. If I clapped my hands, it would not pick up. If I had like a, a plug-in electrical fan. So it was really good at like not catching um, background noise. And the thing about that too, it felt like my vocals were a lot lower than they should be. Like my input um, just seemed a lot lower, which wasn't too bad because I can always... Uh, up the volume when editing the videos and uploading to YouTubes. Even listening to past uh, broadcasts on uh, Twitch streams didn't seem too bad. It seemed like it was workable, but the biggest annoying thing about it is that it would feel like my voice would cut out, like certain words would just like cut, or wouldn't pick up some of my speech patterns. So it felt like more of a hindrance, especially if maybe you had something more of a commentary, like or a review of some kind, and your voice might clip in and out like not the most terrible thing but sometimes like the last word of a sentence or this is spending this depending on my speech pattern so i did talk to a friend and we kind of looked at my uh settings and wanted to do, uh go over what we uh figured out so this is the system uh sound options you can go here by right clicking the volume thing right here and go to sound settings it's, it's kind of easy to find um, so what we did is we went to advance and went to more sound settings here. And this little window pops up and we go to recording and this is my microphone, the HyperX Quadcast. I selected and went to properties. And then when we go to advance, this was actually checked by default that said enable uh, audio enhancements. So I unchecked that, applied, and it felt like it went to my old setup with the previous computer. So it felt like things were catching more on the microphone, especially with my vocals and all that. So that's pretty much it, that this check mark did a huge difference. So I have read a line, um, the microphone issues, I'm not sure if this would help solve some of them. I know sometimes it can get more technical with drivers and stuff like that. So. My thing is I wanted to share about this is that this feels like maybe a first thing to check just to notice a difference. Again, going back, it felt like um, a double-edged sword when it came to the default settings when I got, first got this laptop, that it would cut out a lot of things um, like background noise. But then again, at, it was a hindrance on my vocals, my uh, recording, my uh, speech and all that, depending on like what I was talking about. And that's pretty much it. I don't know too much about the computers, but just in my opinion, I feel like whatever this was, it maybe overcompensated. So I don't know. I kind of wish it would be more things you can adjust in terms of noise cancellation. I'm not sure these are the programs or anything else you can work with Windows. But if you have issues similar to what I had, I feel like it just wasn't picking up your volume enough, your vocals especially. Um, this would be something I recommend trying. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, I tried switching it back just to see, and it doesn't seem to revert back, um, even though I don't really want to. Um, just something I really notice about it. And just like some little background with me is that I'm not, not always the best speaker. Sometimes I have the occasional uh, stutter. I grew up with a speech impediment that one of the things you don't quite always uh, get over 100%. So I feel like that was more against me with this microphone. In the settings with Windows, I think it was more wind, Windows settings because um, I did procrastinate with uh, 
it a uh, troubleshooting it. Um, I did uh, test out an older microphone. I had a like a thirty dollar Tonar, which was also a USB mic. I'm like, oh, they're having the same issues in terms of not picking up as much sound. So that's what I talked to my friend that we figured this out. And so I'm glad it was less of a headache because sometimes just searching online, you just can't find quite the answers. So hopefully this might help. Um, but again, things get complicated. There can be more issues with microphones and stuff like that too. And I think with this, even though the default, when I first got this computer helped with background noise, I just didn't like how it hindered so much with the vocal recording. And if I wanted to worry more about, um, background noise, noise cancellations, this other stuff I can do. I'm kind of a small creator, so I don't do too much. Um, besides like turning off, um, AC, turning off fans, um, I don't have any sound proving, but I've seen stuff like that, or maybe even programs that work with your computer. I just feel like what's in Windows is kind of hit or miss. Because going back when I first got it, I had to crank up the volume thing for the microphone to a hundred, uh, crank it up on my uh, uh, HyperX uh, to the highest setting, and still didn't feel like it was enough. So. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if this worked for you, especially if you have different um, setups, like in different computers, like a, a tower computer, a uh, full like PC versus a laptop, or anything else besides the HP Omen. Again, this is more with Windows 11. I, I feel like we narrowed it down that it was more of a Windows 11 issue than anything else. But hopefully this helps. And yeah, just let me know. Uh, but that would be do it. Just a quick little thing that you just really want to go to the sound settings. Go to your microphone properties and turn this off. I'm not sure if it's like AI or some programming that kind of determines like what to cancel out or whatever. And I not sure if this works with every microphone. Like I have like the default one with the laptop or ones tied to headphones and all that. So there might be different settings. So you may not have this exact option depending on the microphone you're using, but just Something that's worked for me, um, something to can only like recommend is maybe can help. And if it does, awesome. If not, good, good luck to you because it's not always the easiest thing when you're kind of not as tech savvy as me. But just wanted to share that. So thanks for uh, listening. <laughs> but yeah, that's something I wanted to share. So y'all take care and have a good rest of your day. Bye.